Haley, tough one out there today. Mm -hmm. um, but what can you say about the fight of this team? I thought it was good. I thought that there would be times where we were up and then they would get back into it and then it'd be really close at the end and then we'd be battling for deuce games. I think we had a lot of great fight at the end, but it just it isn't enough. You can't have fight and make a lot of errors. It just doesn't work. Drawing on some of the positives, for somebody like Tori Grell, who's still going to be coming back for another year, how good was it to be able to see her getting out there and making some big swings and seeing him go down to Kales? It's great. It's awesome, especially when she can play in an arena in front of 19,000 people. So the fact that she's unwavered and still able to make those plays when she even had kind of a rocky start. So to not let that kind of shake her up, but to just be confident, get herself in a position to attack, that's, that's awesome and it's good to have at the program. And now some questions about your Penn State career. Mm -hmm. Obviously coming to a close, but you know, when you think about everything, what's standing out to you right now? What's hitting you the most? Um, a lot of change, a lot of evolution for me, I think. I've really changed as a person, person from who I was freshman year to who I am now. And I think that that is something that I'm very proud and honored to have done. I think I've grown as a person and I've developed into someone that I'm really proud to be a part of and to represent the Penn State now alumni community. What would you say kind of are the biggest things that you saw change within yourself and how did kind of your teammates and the staff help you in, in your journey? I think my poise as a player definitely changed a lot more from freshman year. I was very goofy and outgoing and kind of wild and crazy and now coming into senior year I'm more poised and I'm more let's go and it's more of a drive and a focus and understanding the goal and what mentality needs to go into that goal and I think my coaching staff has really helped me develop the confidence to hold myself like that and my teammates have really helped me develop the leadership skills that I've needed by trusting in me and having confidence in me and allowing me to lead and me learning how to lead for them and from them as well so they've really shaped me. What was the message from Coach Rose in the locker room after the match? Can't have those errors. Um, you can't make those mistakes and there's there are plays that you'll never get back and it's disappointing and it's a tough way to end the season.